there are some things we just appreciate. We, we, we appreciate our sports stars, for example. I mean, we appreciate their greatness. Um, we appreciate what we see. There's, there's an appreciation. And also there is, um, you know, an identification, an identity that we have also with movie stars, let's say, or, you know, we have this. So I think just this intrinsic appreciation for, for science as something that we normally do and as something we are, we are anyway. I mean, um, there's a great saying by Abdus Salam Nobel Laureate who said, the, I think it's a, the common heritage of, of mankind is sci scientific thought, something along those lines, um, scientific inquiry rather. Um, so I think that, um, you know, and the first, of, first and foremost for me, I think a big part of that literacy that I think is, my opinion is that is lacking, is just a basic appreciation at the level of this is part of our culture, because it is. Um, and also, you know, we, we talk about breaking down the barriers of how scientists versus who's cool and who's not cool is stereotype. I think that the minute those barriers um, are, I would say the minute we take, up, we, we take advantage of the opportunity that a scientist can also be a rock star, or a rock star could also be really interested in science, and that's okay. Um, you know, the same way um, Herbie Hancock, you know, a, a great musician, for example, might like to play around his electronics. Or Brian Eno, um, a friend of mine, would like to, um, you know, extend ideas of modern physics into his musical creation that might turn out to be a number one hit. Or the same way Kanye West might, you know, um, use very advanced um, electronic devices to make top-notch beats or Timbaland. Um, you know, once these things are just, you know, just become more commonplace, I think science will, we will just naturally become more literate in science because it's intrinsic to us. You know, I don't know much about sort of the a lot of the political players um, specifically. I mean, I do have, for example, there's um, one person I do, I've known for a long time, I've known his work, especially in New York City. Um, he's representative in, the, in northern Manhattan. His name is Mark Levine. He was like a physics major in college, and he could have com completely gone on and become a great physicist. Um, but he decided to, you know, get into public service, and, um, and you know, he would run for city council soon. And, and he's someone that, for example, sees the value um, of a literate, a more literate um, public, um, appreciative public of science. Um, but, and also that you can easily study science, but you can do other things and it'll be very useful to what you do. And it's never too late to become a scientist, for example. That's what I really believe. From what I've seen, you know, for example, visiting um, primary schools and high schools and things, um, K through 12, um, over the years, is that I think the we need to continue to relate the the world after school that these kids experience to what's to science that they they learn in school. So, and we also need to show these kids that like role models, scientists that look like them, that act like them maybe, or you know, you could be a brilliant potential scientist as a young person, but you may not necessarily have the personality traits that stereotype that, that a scientist should have that, or you see on, on the movies. And I think that these things are slowly changing, but more, the more we start um, breaking down the, what a scientist looks like, act like, think like, the better job we'll do at the level of primary school. Modular, of course, resources, and we need to continue putting the resources in there. One thing, actually, I did re learn recently was that um, Barack Obama, when he was, um, he did research for some law professor when he was at, at Harvard, um, where he sort of was, you know, the student that was leading the project for this professor, and they connected Einstein's theory of general relativity to the legal sphere. And that, apparently that paper is out. And, um, so I found that really interesting that, you know, he had to go and teach himself a little bit of appreciate general relativity to um, help this professor write this paper. So I'm hoping that 
you know, candidates like himself, um, as they continue on in office at the high level, um, would actually start investing um, um, into, into science literacy because it's very, I mean, it's so important that we are not just, if you want to say, um, recipients of science, but also in, in, in our own ways contribute to, um, to, to science. Thank you.